we're going to take our parabola, which is opening down, moved up 6, and that's what we have over here in purple, the curved one. And then we have our y equals 5, that's our horizontal line here to height the 5, and our x equals 0, that's our y-axis right here. So we're going to take this little shaded area right here, I guess it's not shaded yet, let me go ahead and shade. So we have our shaded region, that's being revolved around our y equals 2, which is this horizontal dotted line here. This is our axis of revolution. So this is coming out of the computer screen, going around this, going back behind it, and coming back up. So we have a hole in the middle, so that means we have a washer, horizontal axis of revolution. This is our basic formula right here. So we're going to go pi, then we're going to have to go our outer radius squared minus our inner radius squared. Since we're dealing with x's here, our bounds on our integral need to be our x's. We're starting out for the shaded at 0, going over to our where they cross, and that's 1. So our bounds go from 0 to 1. Our outer radius would go from the farthest part away to our axis of revolution. So we've got to go what's on top, which is our curved function, minus our axis of revolution. So we've got to go our parabola, because that's what's on top, minus our axis of revolution. So our parabola right here, minus our axis of revolution of 2, which would simplify down. And then we've got to go minus, and then we've got to do the inner radius. The inner radius would go from here down to here. That's the whole part that we're getting rid of, which is what's on top of 5 minus what's on the bottom, which is 2. And 5 minus 2 does also simplify down to a 3 squared. Then you just have to FOIL this out, collect like terms. Then you have to go ahead and integrate, increasing your exponent by 1. Then you got to plug in 1 minus what you get when you plug in 0, which is 0. Then you want to go ahead and work that out and you get 68 pi over 15.